Good evening, everyone. I'm Byron Brown. And I'm Melanie Christopher. Thanks for joining us here on 12 News at 10. First at 10, some sad news out of Hattiesburg. Four people are killed after a small plane crashes into a home on Annie Christie Drive. Drone footage shows the damage. All three people on the plane died, including a two-year-old child. The plane is a twin-engine Mitsubishi. It's not no yet known what caused that crash. The crash is being investigated by the FAA and the National Transportation Safety Board. Suzanne Bokholm lives nearby and heard the crash. I mean, it was really, really fast when it happened. But then we come running outside, and that, I mean, the whole world was on fire. And it, it just felt like souls were crying. It didn't sound like the plane was in distress. It just, it was just really loud, and it was, like I said, over in like 10, 15 seconds. And then all of a sudden, it sounded like a jaybreak on a, on a truck. It just said, nah, and just went down and it exploded. The plane was headed from Wichita Falls, Texas to Hattiesburg for today's graduation ceremony at Southern Miss. Jerry Stanley was in the home at the time. He died as his family members were able to get out of the home. The three victims who were in the plane have been identified as two-year-old Harper Provenza, 67-year-old Louis Provenza, a doctor in Wichita Falls, and Anna Calhoun, a college student in Texas, were told one of the students at Southern Miss was related to the three in the plane. The president of the University of Southern Mississippi released a statement today regarding the crash. Dr. Rodney Bennett says in part, quote, my heart breaks for our student and her family and for our community members and their family, end quote. Jerry Stanley, the man who died in the home at the time of the crash, was well known in the Hattiesburg community. He was an assistant pastor for his church and he touched the lives of many. 12 News, Deidre Briscoe spoke with a close church friend who knew him well. Gary Stanley was home with his wife, children, and dog when a plane struck their home and exploded. The wife, children, and dog all survived, but unfortunately, Mr. Stanley did not. At first, it sounded like two pieces of metal hit together. Then all of a sudden, boom! And that's all we, we know. And after that, you know, everything went, all you could see was lights and sirens. There were no sirens, just lights. The well-known assistant pastor of Wayside Holy Temple Church was known as an instrumental part of his church and the community, having served 22 years as a pastor. He was just a gentle giant, and uh, many of the young people knew him as a, like a fatherly figure. Yeah, they considered him to be like a father to many of them because he took time with them. Not only take time with them, but uh, he set an example for them of possibilities. Gary Stanley is the only one who lived on Anne Christie Drive that got hurt. Nobody else's house was even burned, you know, and I don't understand that. And I've come to the conclusion that perhaps, you know, God knows where all of us are. And um, everybody has an assigned time, so... That gives me a little peace concerning uh, the losing of our dearly beloved Pastor Stanley. Officials have not determined what caused the crash. The Federal Aviation Administration and the National Transportation Safety Board are investigating. But for now, many are trying to remember the good. Pastor Stanley, he loved Mike and Ike. So, <laughs> the candy. Mm -hmm. So if you really wanted to make him happy, uh, give him a box of Mike and Ike. He loved cartoons. <laughs> what grown man likes cartoons? Well, he did, and we all knew it. He loved to laugh. He loved life. Reporting in Hattiesburg, Deidre Briscoe, 12 News.